I'm going to show you some of the basics of ClassLink, and I'll explain a little bit about it while we go. Uh, so let's start with first, how do you get there? There should be, if you're at work, there should be a link on your menu, on your menu, on your desktop uh, called ClassLink. You just click on it and it'll take you right in. But if you're at home or, I don't know, maybe you hate desktop shortcuts, you can go to the district website. In students, there's a link, and in employees, there's a link. Take you right in. Now, once you get to the proper sign-in page, now, and like a lot of things, you notice up here it says launchpad class link slash BESD. If you don't have that slash BESD, like if you just Googled it, you would not be able to log in. You got to be the right one. So I'm here. It's my computer sign on. Same as always. So my password. So I'm going to click sign in and it's going to think for a minute. And I got to get her to shut that off. Now, um, how it works and, and what it does. First, it does a few back end things that are nice for the district that should save us some time and some money at the district level, money that we can then use to improve our um, classrooms and our students and, and get resources for them. So it that's pretty cool. But for you, and, and the real reason we got this is that uh, a lot of teachers were complaining that her spending a lot of time going to different websites, finding different things. And they always say, oh, it's a problem in the elementary schools, but even in the high schools. So like in my class, uh, they have to remember Utah Compose and what the password is to that and how to get into McGraw-Hills Connected and School City and Canvas and their email and Google Drive. And eventually they just they get lost. And so we end up losing class time every time we do anything, especially if we haven't done it for a while. So if I want to use Utah Compose with my students, um, it's a little bit of a reminder of where the website is. And it's uh, resetting five different kids' passwords. And, and so a lot of teachers requested some kind of system that helps. And so what ClassLink does is it creates these cool little apps like the kids are more familiar with, like you're probably more familiar with. And you click on it, and it takes you to the right site. So you notice I'm at Box Elders, not granites or wherever and then it has my password saved so it just logs me in so now i'm ready to work and the kids can do the same thing and they can start out ready to work or ready to go so that's that's what it's for so let me show you a few of the basics of how to use it um, first you want to add your own you'll notice you have one or two and they'll change based on whether you're an elementary or secondary teacher so don't don't worry about that, uh, about not having the same ones I have. You can add whatever you want. So you click on this plus to get into the app library and see what's available. Now I want Canvas. Now if I click on Canvas here, or if I type in Canvas, it's going to come up with three different options, and I don't know which one is ours. So instead, I'm going to click over here at Box Elder Teachers, and I'm going to search Canvas here. And yes, I do know it's sitting there on the top line, but I want to show you how to search. So I can uh, click on that, or I could hit Enter, and then I hit Add. Now this key here means that it's going to save my password and log me in automatically. So I hit Add, and there we go. There's Canvas. Now, because I've been logged into Canvas, I think if I click this, it's going to just log me in. Yeah, because I, because I was already logged in. But it saves that username and that password, and so when I come back in the future, it's just going to keep logging me in. Most of the time, when you add a new app, it's going to tell you, um, it's going to ask you to enter that on the second screen. And once you enter it, it will save it. Now, if you're following along, you probably just had something pop up that said, add extension. Do you want to add the extension? And you just click on add extension. It adds this little extension up here, class link one link extension. That's going to have access to the site. Yeah, that's what, that's what I want. Um, or if you have trouble finding it, go into the extensions
Chrome Web Store extensions. And you can search for class link. And there it is. So it's already installed. Mine is. So it just says rate it instead of the other. And now it's free. It's not a problem. Don't don't worry about it. And it doesn't appear to do anything. Like you can't click on it and do anything except for manage extensions. Now, so I've added Canvas. It's in. But let's say that I set up my password incorrectly. Let's say I click on it and I screwed up and I accidentally used my kid's password. So what you do in that case is you right click on it and then you could click update password. And you click edit here and it's going to give you um, the password and a chance to retype it. Click save and you've updated your password. So that's that's how to add an app. That's how to get it set. Right click on it to fix it. Now there's one other kind of cool feature that this has. If you look down here at the bottom where it says My Files, now you'll see that I have my Google Drive tied in here. And I can see my whole Google Drive. I can see everything that I've set up and all the stuff that I have in there. I wonder why I have a psychology folder. <laughs> Probably adolescent psychology. Maybe it's mine and I forgot my other personality or something. So I've got, uh, I can see all of the things that I've set up, all the stuff from my Google Drive. Now for you to set that up, all you have to do is click on Manage Services down here. And you'll have a button that says Connect then you can connect it to your Google Drive. There's also a class link drive that you can store some things in. Notice I put a folder in here. It uses Office Online as its default thing, but you can open things within PowerPoint. Uh, some teachers have said that they'd prefer to use Office, and actually, if, if you want, you can have the kids come in here, and they can create a new document that's actually in Word Online. And uh, let's see, I believe that's everything. Oh, one last thing. If you are in this My Files thing and you've closed this and you want to get back, click on that and My Apps. And that will take you back to ClassLink. So that's ClassLink. That's what it can do. Hopefully it saves you a little bit of time. And there you go.